Good evening, everyone. The NMU women's hockey team may be a club team, but this season has been one the team is very proud of. In part one of our series with the Wildcats, I traveled to the Barry Event Center for a very late but usual practice with the team. While most people are winding down at 11 o'clock at night, the NMU women's hockey team is at the Barry Event Center getting ready for practice. This is a typical Tuesday night, 11 to 12 30. Late practice is not the most fun thing, especially when you have morning classes, but it's just something you got to do to play the sport. The varsity team that plays for Northern, they get a pretty good ice slot, but they're varsity. And then we last year actually had the earlier slots over the club men's team. And then this year we sort of split. We have two earlier slots in them. And then on Tuesdays we practice after them. Senior Sierra Kangas has been a part of this team for four years. Not only is she on the team, she also functions as the team president while still making time to be a student. I deal with a lot of players that send emails that want to know information about the team and are really interested in coming to Northern. So it's kind of the part of the recruiting process, trying to keep people interested. I also do a lot of the scheduling, um, you know, trying to get refs. After a late practice, the team still has to find time to study and get up for class the next day. We don't get home until probably quarter to one in the morning and then you try to go to bed but your body is still awake so it's tough and then you got to wake up the next morning and do it again. So I mean it's difficult but you got to take what you can get. While most hockey players might reject having to practice late, paying thousands of dollars worth of dues and juggling a school schedule, these athletes do it for the love of the game. It's tough, you know, not going to bed till late, having to wake up early and go to class all day, maybe sometimes work but it's all, for, it's all for the love of the game, really. In part two of our series with the NMU women's Wildcat hockey team, we take a look at what made this team a dominant force this season.